what actually runs the universe is paradox. Multiple realities can all be true at the same time. And that people learning that black and white thinking, which I would consider fundamentalism, causes enormous suffering. And once you know some of these other laws, you stop living from that place of rigidity and self-blame. Okay. Well, the topic started to come up because I think that if anyone's familiar with any of my books, the one of the ongoing issues within it is that life life is built on paradox and that one of the ways that we learn to really suffer is by thinking through black and white thinking. And to me, that's what fundamentalism is, is the idea of like, it's always this way. It's never that way. You should do this. You should never do this. And what came to happen for me over the course of, you know, writing these books and all the years of doing sessions with people before that is that what actually runs the universe is paradox. The fact that two things can both be true at the same time. In fact, not just two things, multiple realities can all be true at the same time. Yeah. And that the more some come to rest in that paradox, the more you can actually live from a place of truth as opposed to rigid and narrow thinking. So what had started to happen Part of what prompted me writing It's Not Your Money is because in the years that I did sessions with individual people, so many of them were really suffering, living from a place that said the law of attraction is the only reality. Everything you think is what you create. If only you can have a perfectly cleansed mind, all of your wishes will come true. And what started to get clear to me over all the years of doing these 20, 30,000 readings and teaching was that actually many laws of the universe were operating at once. And the law of attraction is simply one of many, many. And of course, it's true. The way you think and the way you feel influences your reality. But there are other laws that are true. And that people learning that black and white thinking which I would consider fundamentalism, causes enormous suffering. You enjoying this so far? Did you forget to subscribe? Make sure to do so. It takes two seconds. Just press that little button, the red one. You know the one. Just press it, little like. All right, enjoy the rest of this content. Because then they get blamed either by themselves or others. Oh, you must have created that. What, what tragic mistake did you make? Why did you get that illness? That must be your fault. Why did you get raped even? You must have created that. And in fact, there are these other laws, like the law of Parabda Karma, which I get into in Money Book, yeah. that are deeply operative in the universe. And once you know some of these other laws, you stop living from that place of rigidity and self-blame. Yeah, which I think is super, it's super important because, yeah, people think that, you know, I mean, ever since The Secret and everything like that, you know, so much stress and, and, and importance and, and emphasis has been about, yeah, what you think about, you bring about kind of aspect. But they're missing the whole aspect that sometimes your biggest tragedies are your gifts or the, those are your lessons. And that becomes there is a good and there is a bad instead of what if the bad is also good? Exactly. And also that really ties into the idea of Parabda Karma, what you just said, because Parabda Karma is the idea that every soul has a curriculum that it's here to learn about. And so if you're only going from the idea of the ego, then it's like if only you could get this perfectly cleansed mind, like some kind of mind that had had a thousand colonics, nothing quote unquote <laughs> bad would ever occur, right? But yeah. in fact, when you're looking from Parab to Karma, some of these things are the curriculum of the soul saying, 
I want to learn about letting go this life. The soul saying that. Now the soul can't learn about letting go if every single wish is always magically provided. Or I want to learn how to stand on my own feet. So if the soul is saying I want to learn that, then the relationship that the personality is craving might not come for a while because the soul's learning how to be independent. So this view is only from the egoic mind that every wish should be happening at every moment or this ego is doing something wrong. If you like this content, make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment below. And we also have an amazing link right there for some cool product. I know you want to check it out. I know you want to click it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. You can do it. All right. Until next time, have a beautiful, blessed day.